A simple testing method will determine if water at beaches like this one contains human fecal matter. I'm Olivia Gonzalez Bridge, your community reporter in Avila Beach, with more on what this means for the health of our community. For 12 years, local Neil Dilworth has collected samples from creeks and beaches in San Luis Obispo County as a volunteer for Surfrider Foundation. He tests for enterococcus bacteria, an indicator of potential human waste contamination. The organization aims to raise awareness and find solutions to ocean pollution. All with the primary goal of making it possible for people to go and use the recreational waters of this country without being worried about getting sick. Their research shows that pollution at recreational beaches results in 20,000 health advisories annually. Just within the last month, Slow County issued three advisories following sewage spills in Morro Bay and Pismo Beach. Some beachgoers are becoming used to these announcements. I do think that everybody should be aware that by getting in the ocean, it is risks. Now, a relatively new DNA testing method aims to help Surfrider identify the sources of waste in water. Dilworth brought me along to see the process. Once Surfrider detects high waste levels, they'll test for DNA and determine whether they're dealing with waste from cattle, pigs, horses, dogs, geese, or people. And within a year, they'll present their findings to both regional and county agencies. The human bacteria is the most hazardous to us. How come? Well, because it knows us. It's from us. It's more likely to cause an infection. I spoke with Jeremiah Damry from San Luis Obispo County's health agency via Zoom. His department collects ocean water samples weekly, but doesn't use DNA testing because their state-funded monitoring program doesn't allow it. They analyze the samples for indicator bacteria. I asked Damry what will happen if Surfrider's reports show alarming levels of human waste. What do you do from there? We don't have anything in place for that right now. Um, I guess we'd have to kind of collaborate and, you know, figure things out when and if that comes up. Dilworth tells me the Surfrider Foundation's ultimate goal is to go out of business. That's our hope is that, you know, the Regional Water Quality Board and uh, potentially the county will combine and work to get grants to find out where these sources are and see if they can be remediated. In Avila Beach, Olivia Gonzalez-Britt, KSBY News.